Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Brendan with Stumpy's Hatchet House. I'm here to give you little tips and instruction on how to best throw an ax, stick it in the board, and be the mainstay of your party. I would like to say thank you for coming on out to experience this venue. We're here to have some fun, have a kick ax time, and enjoy your stay here for either a one or two hour session. I would like to go over what you're going to experience here if you have not thrown axes before. What you're going to get in your hour or two hour session, you're going to get exercise, you're going to sweat, and you might be sore in the morning, okay? Exercise, sweat, sore in the morning. Take it for what it's worth. You can make some memories, ring some bells, um, have a great time taking your photos and some bragging rights at the end. We have some hatchet throwing rules. So right here in your pit, located in your pit, and they're going to be referenced the whole time you're here for your hour or two hours. Our throwing coaches are going to go over those with you, um, but they're right here if you have any questions. Biggest one I always like to say, don't be an ax hole. If there's an ax hole in your group, call them out. Safety is our priority number one, all right? It's paramount and that's what we're here for. Everybody have a good time and be uh, safe while doing it. With that out of the way, I'd like to go over all the tips and instruction um, to give you the best success of sticking the ax in the board while you're here for your hour or two hour session. Normally, in a group of four people, one out of four usually gets it right off the bat, okay? So don't get deterred, don't get upset. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes in, a half hour in, you should be sticking in no time. I'm gonna show you our two styles of throwing. We got the one-handed over the head throw, and then we have the two-handed over the head throw. What I'm about to show gives best results possible, okay? Human nature kicks in and people do whatever the heck they wanna do, but I will show you what gives best results possible. So I'm gonna start off with demonstrating the one-handed over the head throw. All right, you wanna pivot your dominant foot, leave with your non-dominant foot, okay? So you wanna step forward, arm extended out, firm wrist, releasing eye level, follow through down. Step forward, arm extended out, firm wrist, releasing eye level, follow through down. One last time on that, okay? Stepping forward, arm extended out, firm wrist, releasing eye level, follow through down. My toes point toward the board where my hatchet to go. All right, I've had people tell me it's like throwing a baseball. Uh, One-handed usually brings a little more accuracy, a little more precision. Two hands, you can grab it just like this and come above your head, directly above your head. All right, please do not do this, okay? This does not work. You're wasting your time in here and it won't stick in the board, okay? So right above your head, okay? I promise it's not gonna go flying through the warehouse. Same thing, pivot your dominant foot, leave with your non-dominant foot. You're gonna bring it right above your head. Step forward, arm extend out, firm wrist, releasing eye level, fall through. Above your head. Step forward, arm extend out, firm wrist releasing eye level, follow through down. One last time, above your head, step forward, arm extended out, firm wrist releasing eye level, follow through down. It's all about form technique and follow through. Form technique and follow through. Also my toes, once again, point toward the board while my hatch to go. When I talked about keeping a firm wrist, in this sport, you don't want to flick your wrist. Flicking your wrist won't stick in the board. Okay, something like this looks like flicking the wrist. You're turning your wrist over, you don't want to do that, okay? You want to keep a nice firm wrist all the way through. You know, it's kind of like keep that elbow out, follow through with it, just like this, okay? I always say people, it's like that uh, uh, FSU chop. You want to come right through, follow through. Elbow out, just like that. Same thing with two hands. Above, step, follow through with it. As you can tell, down here, there's little spots down here where people have hit low. That means you're releasing too late. There's some spots up there, you're releasing too early. If you release eye level, I promise you, no matter your height, you will hit here on the board where you need the ax to go, okay? So eye level, don't flick your wrist. What you're looking for, one rotation of the hatchet toward the board. It will stick in the board just like this. It will stick like this. If it hits like this or like that, you either over rotating your hatchet or you're flicking the wrist. Over rotation, it's all about you and the box. It's the science of your body, finding out. So I'm a shorter guy, I've learned I have to come a little further up in the box, the land of the box to minimize my rotation. Okay, like I said, you're looking for that one evolution, one rotation. So this is getting that one rotation that I need. Um, you could come back a little bit and step back here, land here in the middle of the box. Um, or you can even step right about here and land here in the box. But you obviously don't want to be way up here throwing. You don't want to be way back here throwing. You want to utilize this box right here for your throwing technique. So once you find that spot and a certain way to hold the ax or a certain way to stand in the box, you will get it down. If you're flicking the wrist, like I said, normally that's something you'll have to fix yourself. If you're flicking the wrist, you want to put a thumb up, 
or you want to put a pointer finger up. That usually keeps you from flicking the wrist. It keeps that nice firm wrist right there. So tidbit, thumb or pointer finger, that'll help you guide the, the ax um, if you are flicking your wrist on it. We have two different variations hatchets that you guys will be using today. We got a basic east wing, which is two pounds, three ounces, it's all metal. Um, and then we also have a wooden handle um, variation as far as going back a little over two pounds on this one as well. If you guys prefer one over the other, let us know. Um, but these are the two styles of axes that we use uh, while you guys are throwing here today. Demonstration on how to properly throw the ax. You want to step, release high level, fall through down. So when you stick it in the board, what you're gonna have to come uh, do is sometimes they get stuck and they're really good. Best way to get on the board is you wanna pull the ax, put your two hands on the ax, pull down and out of the board, okay? Cause they get stuck in there. Obviously if the ax is up high, you don't wanna pull towards your face, okay? So you wanna come to the side, pull down and out and that will get the ax out of the board uh, best proper way. So a common miss, I usually show people a common miss, all right? That's a common miss. Wait for them to go if they haven't went yet. Go up, get your ax, all right? You have your hatchet holder right here. Use your hatchet holders um, for the next person to go. All right, as you start sticking in the board and having a good time, uh, we have some games for the competitive nature groups, competitive nature types to play once you feel uncomfortable. We have a basic 21 game. It's like corner of scoring, but it's all broken down scoring wise. We also have Stump or Stump Eats, our version of horse. Also, we have Around the World. You can take this off. There's also a whiteboard and a marker um, at each pit, so you guys keep score while you're going at it. We have a bullseye bell in every pit. Uh, right here, located in this pit, we have a bullseye bell here. Come over here, ring your bullseye bell. You're the coolest person in this building for about three seconds and we all move on. But you are the life of the party every time you ring that bullseye bell. Everybody loves their bullseye bells while they're in here. Have fun with it, enjoy it, ring it. it means you're hitting all the bullseyes. So if you really did enjoy your time here to make some memories, keep a memory, we have merchandise here for you guys to come check out. Everything from shirts to glasses, candles, knives, multi-tool sets, you name it, we have it. Ask a staff member on your way out if there's anything you're interested in, and they will definitely uh, take care of you on your way out, um, going through that to solidify your time uh, while you're here at Stumpy's Hatched House. So the last thing I'm about to mention, you're about to go throw some axes, have a kick ax time.